If you want to rapidly improve your UI design skills, I have the perfect 30 day plan for you that will completely transform how your designs look. Once you improve your UI skills, your life as a UI UX designer becomes much easier. It's much more likely that you're going to get a great high paying job. Freelance clients will be lining up to work with you and people will have more respect for your work and you as a designer. Think of this kind of like a training program that somebody would follow in the gym. It consists of three main sessions that you're going to be doing over a three day period. And then you're going to repeat that three day block 10 times to equal the 30 days of the total plan. It's only going to take you about 30 minutes to an hour each day to complete, which is really not that much given how much this is going to improve your UI skills. I'll give you an overview of what each day looks like, and then I'm going to share my screen to explain each day more in depth and give you some tips for each day of the program. On day one, you're going to find great UI design work and do your best to try and copy it. Think of this kind of like how a musician will learn how to play a great song that someone else has written or an artist will try and copy a famous painting purely for the sake of practice and learning from the greatest people in that field. For day two, this will be the day to read and watch educational content on UI design. I'm gonna provide some links for the content in the description, but it can really be any kind of content that you want. And on day three, you're gonna be doing one exercise from the daily UI challenge which is a website that you can sign up for that will give you a daily design prompt. So you're going to do the, the exercise that it tells you to do, and you're going to be applying what you learned from the day prior. Once that three day cycle is complete, simply repeat it 10 times, and that will be the entire program. Once the program is complete, I can guarantee that you're going to be a much better UI designer at the end of it. So now I'm going to start sharing my screen and get into the more in-depth explanation of each day. All right. So here's what you're going to do for day one. This is the day where you're going to be copying some great UI work. Now, in order to find that UI work, I would recommend that you go to this site, dribble.com. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a site specifically for designers to showcase their work. So once you get on the site, you can then sort by popular. Sorting by popular is going to give you a good idea of whether that design is good or not. And once you sort by popular, then you can narrow it down by mobile, product design, or web design. I would definitely recommend clicking on one of those next because that's going to give you only UI designs. And once you're on one of these tabs, I would recommend that you find a mobile design for this, this practice session because it's going to take you less time than copying some complex kind of dashboard like this here, um, which would maybe take you hours. But a mobile design could take you 30 minutes to an hour. So this design looks pretty good. Um, fairly simple, but very nice UI work. Now you'll take a screenshot of the screen that you're going to copy. You're going to open Figma. And then place that design in there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger so it's more realistic with an actual phone size. You're going to then draw a frame in the same size as that screenshot. And then take the screenshot out. And now you have this blank canvas that is ready for you to copy and practice. So that's about all you need to know from day one. Now let's move on to day two. All right, so here's what you're gonna do on day two. So this is the day where you're gonna be reading or watching some great educational content on UI design. And then you're going to take a few things that you learned from that article or video, and you're going to practice it the next day when you're doing the daily UI challenge. So in this article, let's pick out a, a few things that we might want to practice the next day. So in this article, he talks about how the use of color should be limited in your UI designs. So once you have that, say as an example of what you want to practice the next day, you're going to 
start setting up your Figma file and have this little note to yourself to practice. And then once you find a thing that you want to practice based on that article, you're going to note that down. So limit the use of color in my designs and then maybe make a little challenge for yourself. Like try to only use four colors in my UI practice. All right, so you have that noted. And now you're going to maybe make a two or three more notes based on the article that you read. And then you're going to come back to that the, uh, the next day when you're doing that U daily UI challenge. So that's it for day two. Now let's move on to the day three explanation. And here's what you'll be doing on day three. This is where you're going to take a prompt from the daily UI challenge and do that as a practice session. So this is the site where you're going to sign up for the daily UI challenge, dailyui.co. You're going to enter your email address and then get one of those prompts emailed to you each day. So here's day one and it says you're going to, to be designing a sign up form. So take a screenshot of the prompt and bring that into Figma. So you always have that to reference. And now you're ready to design on this page. So you have your prompt to look at, and then you have your notes of what to practice from those articles that you were reading the day before. And you're going to draw a frame. So I guess it'd be for a desktop sign up and start designing. And one more tip here is once you're done designing, I would recommend that you go back to dribble.com and you can type in whatever day of the daily UI challenge that you just completed. So this would be daily UI 001. And then you'll be able to see how other designers completed this challenge. And I would recommend going through several of these and analyzing what some of these other designers did, maybe some things that you like, maybe some things that you don't like, and noting that so that you can maybe incorporate some elements of what they did into your next practice session. So that's day three, and that concludes the explanation of each of the days. So I would highly recommend doing each of these days and maybe even doing something beyond that. So like, um, you're going to be getting these daily UI challenge emails every day. So add, add these on to some of the, the days or on the educational days, do uh, read or watch more articles. So the more time that you put into this, the better that you're going to get at UI design and the more likely it is that you're going to get a great job, have as many clients as you want, make more money as a designer. All of this is really going to pay off. So, Good luck with all of this and please leave some uh, questions for me in the comments if you have any. So thank you for watching and have fun designing.